Maka and Hawaii are looking for a hermit crab house. Can you hear that? Hawaii asked Maka with its excitement. I only hear the sea, Maka answered a little angry, who was distracted from looking at the shells. The sea was quiet, calm and smooth. The waves gently rolled onto the sandy beach. A little further, they crashed on the rocks and formed form as delicate and soft as feathers. Maka and Hawaii sat next to the sea on sand, golden from the sun's rays. Small splashes of water fell on Maka, so the monkey's fur was covered in salt. Kite Hawaii twisted and dodged the spray. He really didn't want to get wet, and he didn't even want the sea water to turn into salt on his wings. He knew well that in the sun the water evaporates and leaves tiny crystals of salt that will weigh down his wings. Close your eyes and listen, Why whispered, becoming silent for a moment and allowing his wings. Yes, I hear seagulls, Maka suddenly shouted joyfully. Now relax and try to listen to what's next to you. The noise and bustle around distract from the most important things, Why said still in a whisper. Maka relaxed, closed his eyes, then opened them and began to look for the source of the sound. He heard a slight rustling, a barely audible scrape of something on the sand. Who are you and what are you doing here? Maka asked the unfamiliar creature with claws leaning over. I'm Hermit Crab. I've lived here for as long as I can remember, but last night there was a storm and my house was carried away somewhere by the waves. Now I'm trying to find it, the hermit crab answered with undisguised concern. Why hermit? Maka asked curiously. Unlike other crabs, our body is very soft and easily damaged, so we use a shell for protection. This is our home, which we always carry with us, and it serves as shelter for us. We live in this house like hermits, alone, but we feel comfortable in it. It protects us. When I grow up, I will be able to find a new home that is sized for me, but while I'm looking for mine, it was carried away by the sea. We live in this house like hermits alone, but we feel comfortable in it. It protects us. When I grow up, I will be able to find a new home that is sized for me. But while I'm looking for mine, it was carried away by the sea. Can we help him somehow? Maka asked Hawaii. Of course, any help is priceless to those who are in trouble, Why answered joyfully. Maybe this is your house? Maka asked the crab, pointing to the flat shell. No, my house is big. It looks like a winding pyramid. I can crawl inside and hide there. Maka ran along the beach. He started looking for a shell. He stopped when he saw something similar and sticking his nose 
close to the shell, suddenly screamed, heart rending. What a disgusting crab! How dare he bite me on the nose? Maka shouted. This is someone else's house and you disturbed its owner. Before entering someone else's house, you need to ask permission. Y answered instructively and with a slight laugh. Okay, okay, I understand, Maka answered guiltily. He continued his search, carefully knocking on the shelves. The sun began to set behind the horizon, and it was getting dark. Crab began to get nervous. He was afraid of being left without a home at night. Suddenly, Hawaii, rising high into the sky, saw a shell very suitable in size to the hermit crop. It seemed completely empty. Here, I found it, Hawaii shouted joyfully. It's beautiful, my new home. I'm so grateful to you for your help, the hermit crop enthusiastically thanked. He crawled backwards into his new house and fingering his front claws ran along with the house in search of food. The friends were looking after him when suddenly Maka asked, sitting closer to the full eye. What is it like, your home? My home is where someone are waiting for me. My home is where someone needs me. Maka snuggled up to Hawaii. I need you. My home is next to you.